Hey, what's going on friends? My name is Glenn. I'm with San Diego Hunger Pangs. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all of our latest updates. Tonight, we're gonna to be making Japanese style seafood dynamite. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dice up some green onions. We're going to take half of those green onions and we're going to put it into the bake. And then after the dish is done baking, we're going to top it off with some spicy mayo, put it back into the toaster oven, broil it, and then we're going to use the rest of the green onions to garnish the dish. Here we have our shiitake mushrooms. These are mushrooms from Sprouts. They're frozen. They come in a bag. It takes about two to three minutes to cook and we chop them up and put them in the bake. And then we're gonna take our white onions and we're gonna dice those. We're not gonna to put too much in there because we already have the green onions. Traditionally, the dish is made with just the green onions, but in this case, we are gonna use both. Here we peel the shrimp, we devein it, and then we wash it. Some people like to leave the veins in, but uh, we don't. Here we are cutting up imitation crab, salmon, scallops, and shrimp into square pieces and throwing them in the bake. Know that seafood dynamite can consist of any sashimi grade fish, so you can choose according to what you would like to throw into your dish. Here we take some foil to create a dish deep enough to hold all the ingredients but small enough to fit into the toaster oven. You can take a glass container or Tupperware to use as a mold. This example is not the greatest, but it did the job. Place all the ingredients into the foil dish and spread out evenly. Also add the white onion, half of the green onion, and the mushrooms. Turn the oven on, set it to bake, and preheat it for 350 degrees. While it's doing that, you can go ahead and add your salt and pepper. Put it in the oven and bake it for 15 minutes. Now we are going to make the spicy mayo sauce. We use Japanese mayo as the base and mix sriracha chili sauce in with the mayo. We then take out the baked seafood and evenly lay the sauce on top of the seafood. We then place it in a toaster oven or oven and broil it until the sauce caramelizes. Take the bake out of the oven, let it sit for a few minutes, let it cool down, and then you can go ahead and top it off with the avocado, the eel sauce, and of course the sesame seeds. And then take the rest of the green onion that you had from earlier and then sprinkle it on top. And that is it. This is the final product. It is amazing. You will not regret it. You can serve it with quinoa, but we prefer with white rice. I hope you enjoy.